Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 11 23H2. And the update was made available late yesterday in my region on the 26th of September. And the update is optional. Unless you have this toggle turned on, then it becomes mandatory. And the update is KB5043145 and is give or take the same update I posted on just a couple of days ago when it was still in preview and has now made its way into the stable channel. Now if we just head over to Winver, the about the about Windows um, menu just to check out the build upgrade. For Windows 11 23H2 the OS build is now sitting on 22631.4249 after the update has been installed. Now we get six new features one more than when it was still in preview and the first five according to Microsoft are on a gradual rollout. So they might not be available to all users including myself. So I haven't received any of these new five features but um, I'll just demonstrate to give you a general idea. So the first five new features on a gradual rollout first of all is regarding the taskbar where you can now share local files directly from the search results that appear in the search box on the taskbar. So just to give you a general idea what this is all about. If you do a search for a local file, open above these options, open run as administrator and open file location. If you have received this new feature, you should see a share option to share that local file. So that's the first new feature. Then the second new feature if we just head back to our Windows Update page, Advanced Options, Delivery Optimization, Microsoft says the Delivery Optimization Settings page now matches the Windows 11 design. And that looks exactly the same to me as it was previously uh, before the update rolled out. So I haven't received that one yet. And I'm just going to mention the next one. Um, the update removes the search box from the Windows Share window. That's the third new feature according to Microsoft. And then the fourth new feature, which I also haven't received, but we have spoken about on the channel, is the media controls now show in the lower part of the lock screen at its center when media is plain, where previously the media controls were yet to the right, but because of these widgets, um, obviously that real estate now has been taken over so obviously now Microsoft has had to push that below the widgets on the lock screen and then the fifth new feature on a gradual rollout is the sign out option is now on the account manager when you open the start menu so if you head to your profile your account manager this sign out option is now directly here in the menu of the account manager and not buried in the three dotted menu which I think is a nice move and to change to a different user you select this ellipsis menu if you have the feature and a list of other users appears to make it easier to switch so the big one here is that sign out option should be in the main account manager dialog so those five new features are on a gradual rollout I haven't received any of those now the sixth new feature is if you are using a Copilot Pro subscription, which I'm not. But if you are signed up to Copilot Pro, Microsoft says you can now manage your Copilot Pro subscription in settings. So you sign into your Microsoft account and go to settings accounts and that's listed as a new feature. So six new features in all. Now we have a couple of, we've got three bug fixes that are rolling out as part of a normal rollout. And I'm just going to go through these because Microsoft has highlighted them. Um, Internet Explorer modes sometimes stops responding in Microsoft Edge. So the browser, when using Internet Explorer mode, sometimes stops responding. And users, users no longer need to enter their credentials more than once for Outlook or another encrypted email app. Apparently, a user will be prompted for their PIN one time only. And this is regarding the Windows Identity Protection. So that's more of an improvement than a bug fix. And then the Task Manager, apparently, it stops responding when you switch from a high contrast theme to a normal theme. That bug has been addressed. So um, we get three 
improvements and bug fixes as part of a normal rollout. And then because this is a non-security update, it also includes some other bug fixes. We get one, two, three, four, five, but I'm just going to mention three. There's a fix for country and operator settings asset. Apparently, the update brings country and operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. We've got a fix for Outlook and other encrypted email apps. Apparently, there was an issue that prompts for your PIN each time you open an encrypted email. And then Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Apparently, work folders, work folders files were failing to sync when Defender for Endpoint is on. So that's just three out of the five. The others um, won't be of average, won't be of use to your average home user. So I've just pulled a couple of the highlights. So there we have it, guys. Six new features, five on a gradual rollout and a couple of bug fixes and improvements. And that was made available with the latest update, KB5043145. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.